Okay guys, this is Hitesh Tepatki and in this video, we will be seeing editorial video of question C, division, court forces round 680, division 2. What we have to do in this question is, we are having T test cases and in each test case, we have two values, PI and QI. We have to tell maximum value of XI such that PI is divisible by XI and XI is not divisible by QI. Okay, so and constraints are PI is 10 is 18 and for QI is 10 is 9. Now, first condition of this question is maximum value which PI is divisible and XI is not divisible will be PI only. In which case? When PI is not divisible by QI. Why? Maximum value up to which PI is divisible will be PI only, okay? Like uh, 4 ko maximum value jo divide kar sakti hai, wo 4 hai, okay? It is obvious. Now, we will simply check if PI is not divisible by QI, then our answer will be directly PI, okay? So first case is this. Now, for second case, when PI is divisible by QI, okay? Now, for that, we have this for second case, okay? where pi is a and qi is b and uh, we have to find maximum value of xi okay so you can say that we have to find some like this okay where a upon x should be integer but x upon b should not be integer okay now this type of questions we always perform over prime factorization okay we count some prime factors and uh, for maximum factor we always remove some smallest prime factor okay uh, let's hold it here and see this okay let's say in this case a is divisible by b okay a is divisible by b in second case okay okay we know that it means all factors of a you can say all factors of A are present in factors of B. This is simple observation. Okay, all factors of A will are present in factors of B. You can say x1, x2, x3 are factors of B. Okay, and this value we have to calculate. Okay, but since AI can be equal or greater than b okay ai can be equal or greater than b always okay so in that case there can be some more factors also like x4 let's say or x5 okay now if a is equals to b one more condition is if in any case a is equals to b then obviously our answer will be 1 okay because there will not be any another any other number other than 1 for which this condition success uh, proves okay that's why if a is equals to b then our answer will be simply 1 for other cases what we will simply do is we will calculate all the factors of b okay and we will simply check that after removing that factor from A, how will we remove that factor from A? We will simply divide AI by X1, okay? And this value can be our X, okay? This value can be our X only if B don't divide it, okay? Now, here there can be, aapko samaj mein aaya ho. let me show you the code and you will get it there, okay? Here in this function, we have calculated all the factors of n, okay? Now, first case is, if a modulo b is uh, some not divisible, if a is not divisible by d, then our answer will be obviously a. And else what we will do is simply we will calculate all the factors of b. Okay. 
and initially initialize our answer with 1 <laughs> and simply we will check in our for loop that if there is some factor of b okay there is some factor of b with which a is divisible okay a kisi factor ke b se divisible hai tum kya karenge usse wo factor nikalenge divide karke and we will again check if tt b se divisible nahi banta then hum kya karenge answer ko apne max ke update kar denge this is the same thing what i was saying here we will remove every factor of b's from a and again we will check that in any case bi divisible by this value is not integer we will always update our answer to maximum and simply output our answer so after this if we didn't got any number then our answer will be obviously one it means a is equals to b m and in other cases we will get maximum value of answer thank you guys for watching this video if you have any doubt you can ask in comment section and uh, like this video press the thumbs up button if you like this video thank you guys for watching